I'll try and get a thumbnail here. That ain't cute. I wish I could fit more in my hand. I'm sorry. Book a follow up. And welcome back if you're new here my name is Christina I know I told y'all that I was going to go over what I am able to kind of snack on throughout the day that kind of doesn't really hurt my stomach too much um, and stuff that I can like tolerate so the first thing is these harvest snap green peas and my favorite is the white cheddar. I also have the um, this one, just the black pepper. But these two are my favorite. I have about maybe five of these, and then in about like a two hours, I am I want more. They are really really good. Then. I got my pretzels because I love pretzels. I do pretzels and a tiny bit of of the natural jiff natural jiff creamy peanut butter. Just a tiny tiny little bit or mustard. I love mustard. I could eat mustard by itself. I know some people think that's really weird, but I just I love it so much. Okay, pretzels. So like I said before, I usually try and stick with everything that is gluten-free. I like this brand a lot, Snyder's. Snyder's of hangover gluten-free pretzel sticks. They are gluten-free. Um, and then also I do the other pretzel brand that I like. It's this one, Snack Factory. Pretzel crisps. Now, these are Eric's because they're not gluten-free. We went to BJ's. It's kind of like Sam's Club where you can get like stuff in bulk. But I found that they don't really have a lot of gluten-free stuff there. So, I'm going to go back to Sam's Club and see if they have more of a gluten-free variety. But um, they also do have these in the gluten-free they are a little more expensive than the Snyder's Hangover ones, but these are really good too. Then, I'm still trying these out. I don't know if I like them. Okay, hold on, let me show y'all. So organic chickpeas, and then the flavor I got is the cinnamon toast. They are they have six gram of protein. I think that's why I bought them, because they do have a lot of protein in them. They're gluten-free, vegan, and non-GMO. Simply, simply prepared with only five ingredients. But y'all, I think the only thing with this is they make my mouth so dry and I get so thirsty. And my doctor told me I either can snack throughout the day or I can try and sit throughout the day. I can't do both. So with these making my mouth so flippin' dry, I get so thirsty and I can't drink anything. So, I don't know. I may give these to my mom to see if she wants to eat them, but I don't know. But y'all, y'all may like this. So this is just my personal like preference and stuff that I'm able or I can tolerate a little better than other stuff. The next thing is these diamond blue almond chips. These are wheat and gluten free. I like two, fla two flavors. So this one is the 
hint of sea salt. And the other one is cinnamon, like cinnamon sugar. So good. I also will have these with a little bit of peanut butter. Yeah, they're really good. So now I'm gonna get into the fresh stuff. So I have bananas. I'll have maybe five little tiny slices. And like I said, I'll use peanut butter and, or I'll just like eat them, eat the little slices by itself. I have been starting to slice the bananas up, putting the peanut, putting some peanut butter on them and then stick them in the freezer for about like an hour to two hours. And y'all, they're so refreshing. Okay, so also we got this at, at BJ's, but they are kiwi. So I will cut these up and like with a banana, I'll have like five pieces. I'll do like blueberries and grapes, not a lot, about five. I try and look for stuff that has high protein and low, low, um, what's it called? High protein, oh, and low fiber because I can't really have a lot of fiber, but that's just what my doctor, re doctor recommends me not to have. So with like the protein stuff, I have tried a little bit of salmon, but I think that is just too heavy for my stomach right now. I've also tried some shrimp, too heavy. Um, I haven't tried tuna, so I may try a little tuna. Not sure, but like with the with the salmon and the shrimp that I had, I threw them up. But y'all not fun so I'm sticking with the stuff that I know that my stomach can handle that's on the lighter side so yes I, I may try tuna and I'll update y'all for my drinks when I want to sip on stuff I have been loving these so suja su i don't know it looks like this i can't pronounce it this is the flavor that i really love it's the organic probiotic it's got water strawberries raspberry lemon honey tart cherry probiotics and stevia um y'all this is really really good and it's got probiotics probiotics in it so I also do take a separate probiotic at nighttime. Then, really like kombucha. So, this is the one that I drink. Again, I can't, I can't pronounce it. So, I'm just gonna show you. It looks like this. It's organic kombucha. This flavor is watermelon wonder. Again, this is really good. Um, I am looking. If y'all drink kombucha. I'm looking for flavors that I really like. I have tried the, in this brand, the blue one. I think it's got blueberry in it. Like gingerberry. I think it's called gingerberry, the blue one. I've tried that one. That one's okay. This one's my, all. this one's just my favorite. This is my go-to. But I really want to try new flavors. And I'm also open open to trying to make my own kombucha. If y'all do make your own kombucha, please tell me how to, cause these are, these are, I mean, they're expensive. So there's that. And also I have noticed that these supplements that I've been taking after I nibble have really been helping my stomach try and break down 
whatever I put in it. Now, when I'm sipping on stuff like the kombucha or the probiotic drinks, also my coffee, I won't, I won't take these only for like the food items, I guess. The um, multi-enzymes, these help break down protein, carbs, fat, and it's got like a whole bunch a whole bunch of stuff right here of course my phone's not going to focus but it's got a whole bunch of stuff i'm not even going to try to attempt to read this but it's gluten-free soy-free nut-free and y'all it doesn't even have to be this brand but i do recommend if you don't take a um digestive enzyme i i would or at least try it um if you do go if you do have like a vitamin shop where you're at i got these 100 100 um tablets and it was only eight dollars so yeah okay y'all well again like i said this is probably going to be a short video but if you like it please give it a thumbs up that really helps me and I will see y'all in my next one.